we know that the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base will always form salt and water as the products. And we are going to look at those salts through a process called hydrolysis, which is essentially how those salts react with the water that is formed. And there are three scenarios that we're going to look at. The first one is the reaction of a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, with a strong base, sodium hydroxide, to form salt, and a sodium ion that comes from our strong base, and a chlorine ion that comes from the strong acid. We can therefore say that the sodium ion must be the conjugate acid for this base, and because sodium hydroxide is a strong base, we know that the conjugate acid would be weak in the same way. We know that the chlorine ion comes from the hydrogen chloride acid, which makes them a conjugate acid base pair, which means that this is the conjugate base for the hydrochloric acid. And once again, it was a strong acid, and therefore this is a weak conjugate base. For the hydrolysis reaction, we would look at these, and we would say, how does a chlorine ion react with a water molecule? And what we can see here is that because it is a weak base, we know that it is very unlikely to be able to take a hydrogen ion away from a water molecule. So we can therefore say that there is no hydrolysis between chlorine and water or no hydrolysis reaction. In the same way, for sodium, we can see that sodium being a weak acid does not have a proton to donate to the water and therefore cannot donate or hydrolyze with the water. So since there is no hydrolysis reaction with the water, there is no further product formed. We'll see what exactly we would expect to form in the next two examples. But that is why we can safely say that this is a neutral salt, because we can see that a strong acid would completely neutralize a strong base, and the salt would then be a neutral salt. This is in contrast to a reaction where we have hydrochloric acid again, which is our strong acid, and ammonium hydroxide, which we know is a weak base. Once again, it forms water, and then the two salts that it forms, the ammonium we can see very clearly is the conjugate acid for this ammonium hydroxide base, and since it is a weak base, that must mean that it is a strong conjugate acid, and once again, the chlorine is our weak conjugate base for the hydrochloric acid. So the only new substance here is the ammonium ion, and we are going to see that that ammonium ion undergoes hydrolysis with water because it is a strong conjugate acid, meaning it is capable of donating a proton, and since it can donate a proton to water, it will form more hydronium ions and obviously some ammonia. But this hydrolysis, the hydrolysis of ammonium with water, clearly shows that our products actually form some ammonium. And what that implies is that even though we have a neutralization reaction between an acid and a base, our salt, the ammonium chloride molecule, is still acidic because we had a strong acid and a weak base. So the implication here is fairly standard in that we would expect that a strong acid plus a weak base would form a acidic solution, but now we can see that that solution is acidic because the salt that is formed is able to hydrolyze with water to form more ammonium ions. And then finally, if we have a weak acid, uh, this is ethanoic acid, and react that with a strong base, sodium hydroxide, once again we form water, the conjugate base for this weak acid would obviously be a strong conjugate base and the conjugate acid for sodium hydroxide would obviously then once again be a weak conjugate acid. So the only new substance here is this substance over here and we are going to see that that is able to hydrolyze or undergo hydrolysis with water once again because it is a strong conjugate base. We know that um, it is a base, meaning it will accept a proton. The fact that it can accept a proton 
means that the water molecule loses a proton and we form that same ethanoic acid once again, but more importantly, we form hydroxide ions. And those hydroxide ions we know affect the pH of the solution and make the solution more basic. So once again, the implication makes sense in that a weak acid plus a strong base is going to form a basic solution because the salt that is formed is basic.